I call my power back to me from every person, place, entity, from every space, portal, time, and dimension. Hi, Virgo. Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. Sorry that I'm late this week, you guys. Just had some things going on personally, but I'm here. Uh, for those of you that are new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Virgo, if at any time you resonate with this reading, please hit the like button so that we can have that exchange of energy, uh, not only for this reading, but future readings as well. I've already said my blessing and prayer. And for those of you that are new, that is in the description box below if you're interested in knowing what that is. I've shuffled through all of these decks as well, and I will be using them during this reading. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. There's also a link in the description box to my website. I sell healing body oil for your chakras as well as intention candles. I do have readings available as well. So you can check that out at your convenience. So let's go ahead and see what messages. Before I forget, when I was shuffling, I was... <clears throat> receiving a message that you're in a space Virgo where um, number one I think you're having to wait for something and that's kind of it, it might be bringing up energy of fear like oh this isn't going to happen for me or doubt okay and what I was being shown is you are in the middle of a lesson a test of faith I do think that you've prayed for something very specific and now you're in the waiting period where you can feel this amazing momentum or you know that something is meant for you or something is out there, whether it's something bigger or greater, but you're not seeing any physical presence of it. Um, that's a, It's a test of your faith. Do not lose sight of your goal, right? Sharpen your focus and also sharpen your heart to the divine in knowing that he always follows through on his word. And his word says, if you ask, you shall receive. All right, you have the number 20. Okay, this is um, garden. So you could be spending a lot of time outdoors, but you could also be like meeting with people. Like I'm seeing, uh, I guess I'll use the word networking. Um, that could be what you're doing. But there's like get togethers, group events here. Could be going out a little bit more, spending time with groups yeah house so in your city in your town in your area you could be doing things at other people's house or get togethers i also feel like you uh what is this that i'm it's not like the grass is greener energy but it's you're trying to reach outside of your typical limits to get something like you do feel like you're held back from something or something is being held back from you yeah you have the tower okay and then you have um the moon on the bottom with the sun the cross and the anchor so um there's some things that are coming to light I feel emotionally inside of you that could be connected to either your living arrangement or somebody you live with, or um, it looks like a situation here that ha is tumultuous, that has some burdens. But these burdens are serving a purpose. I think that you're trying to figure out in which direction um, to go or like, how do I move forward? Possibly even trying to figure out how to release something that you know is weighing you down, okay? Um, and a lot of that is gonna come from, um, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Virgo. My neighbor's TV was so loud and I've just had enough. It's like right against my bedroom wall and it, so forgive me. Um, this burden or burdens, are weighing you down and Virgo I do think that you know that those burdens hold the key to you reaching whatever this is that you're looking to to break free from there may still be some energy some pain and betrayal that is holding you you back yeah you have the snake and um, letter so you may have received some type of information about 
a betrayal about somebody doing something behind your back or they're not who they say they are, right? And I feel like this message may have came from another person. Yeah, it makes you question somebody's loyalty here. This could be somebody that you were in a relationship with or are in a relationship with currently, okay? Um, but the sun is here. The sun is here. And you have the moon, the sun, and the cross. And, you know, it's just really, I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's, it's reminding me of the whole Jesus dying on the cross and rising again in three days. Okay, you do have the number three here three times, uh, four times. So, I feel as though you're trying to come out of something that may have emotionally or spiritually hurt you, killed you in some way. And you may be coming to the phase, Virgo, where you're finally ready to lay this burden down. It's no longer going to weigh you down. Instead, what you're gonna do with this anger is attach the burden to it, and you're weighing it, laying it down at the Lord's feet so that you can rise from this burden. That also is could be what this tower moment is for you. Um, Cause I feel a lot in my heart chakra, like wanting to come out. I wanna get out of this gate. I don't wanna feel trapped like this anymore. Okay, the number is 20. 4, 19, and 32 could be uh, specific to you or important to you. The number three, solar plexus chakra. Yeah, so this is about self-worth, power, spiritual strength. Remember how I told you it's a test of your faith? Standing in your truth, standing in your power, shining bright. This is really being in tune with who you are. You just have to not connect your worth to whatever this person did. That's that's a lesson. That's I feel like that may be something that you're working through here. Yeah, material and spiritual pro uh, prosperity. So you could be working specifically on your solar plexus chakra. You have wisdom here, the hierophant, and patience and planning. You recognize that you're in this particular phase. You do. You know, you, you're, I'm connecting with somebody who knows they're on a spiritual journey here, passion ignited. And so I do feel like you are being patient. Somebody here needs to pay attention to the way they um, express themselves or communicate. You have to change your language um, from negative to positive. I don't know who that's for, but really make sure, like how negative are you speaking every day? Because that's gonna become your reality. You've got to retrain your mind and retrain your speech so that you can change your life. Fulfillment of wishes. Uh, maybe that's where you're at right now. Fulfillment of wishes and deception and envy. The waiting game. The waiting game. Rest and rejuvenate. Third eye chakra. And destiny. So this is... <laughs> asking you shall receive. So Virgo. Very gifted. Spiritually gifted. Um, you've definitely seen your future. You definitely know what's coming for you. It's it's not a facade. That wasn't an illusion. You may have received it through visions. You may have uh, received it while sleeping, you know, through a dream. But you've seen the success or the life, whatever you saw that you're excited about. Um, it is yours. And it's like I said, you're in a period right now of patience while you're physical, mental, emotional body, spiritual body, all align into one. And it is a process, right? And here on earth, everything is supposed to happen instantaneously. And at least that's what they tell us, right? We want instant gratification. We can order something online and Amazon can literally have it to you by the end of the day. So we're very, we're a very, very fast society. That's not reality. 
um, you're in a moment of integration. And so it feels like a lot of things are falling apart or crumbling and it's affecting your self-worth. Understand that you are ascending. Your darkness is breaking away from you. And when that happens, other people's darkness is, is blinding as you know, uh, that's an oxymoron, but it is what happens. It's like, whoa, this is who you are. Okay, because now you're seeing something for the truth. You're not seeing it through those rose colored glasses. Um, you're on the road to destiny. You have love begins down here because also what happens. Yeah, but you're conflicted about it. Okay, you're conflicted about it because when you go on this ascension journey and you see the darkness, it's like, how do you integrate now with other people? Right? Um, Patience is needed. It is a test of your faith. You've, you've seen what's coming. And so now you need to trust in that, right? The roots have been planted. Now you're needing to grow a little bit more. Some buds need to start budding before you start to see physically this new beginning or this walking out of the gate. Clarify solar plexus, please. Why is this here? King of Cups, self-love, controlling one's emotions, controlling one's temper, the devil, controlling one's temper with a soulmate um, or children could be involved. Six of Cups, death, nine of swords. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini. Look, this is a very specific message. So what I'm about to say, it's, it's either going to be for you or it's not. And if it is, you're not going to leave this person. You, you guys are going to end up together. It's The whole story is here. So this is a soulmate. Could I could be tapping into maybe a, a, a divine higher level possible twin flame. Um, you're going through a cycle with this person. You're going through a major life lesson with this person um, and that's normal. And for some reason, society has got it in our brain that relationships are supposed to be perfect in one way all the time. That's not reality. Every human is here to learn lessons for their soul and we're all going through something at different levels, different paces and to find someone who wants to ride it out with you? Will you guys grow and get better? That is the blessing. That's the blessing. Um, and it's not easy. There is a lot of toxic emotions with this devil here uh, in the solar plexus. It's trying to get in the way of not only your growth, but the growth of your connections with other people, whether it's friends, family, even just self right? This is toxic self-love. This is negative self-love. I would, I, I would call it self-hate. Okay. It's so much negative emotions and, and harboring and holding on to, um, resentment. And right now the devil is trying to win in this situation. And there may be a big problem here. I'm not saying that there isn't, but all pro and, and, and uh, but I'm seeing a couple who pushes through this somehow, some way. This whole story was on the bottom. It's like I see you guys going through the ebbs and the flows. Right now, you're in a waiting game, and you may feel like your emotions have dissipated from this particular connection. It's a gift, it's a blessing in disguise because this whole situation, whatever you're going through. The difficulty, listen, the level of difficulty of a challenge is also the level of the blessing once you get through it. Don't ever forget that. That can be your goal. That can be your, oh, this is going to be good. Okay. Um, you have death and self-love on the bottom. The purpose of the situation is there's a gift inside of this that you are going to discover through ending a cycle of self-hate and moving towards self-love. It's a spiritual promotion. And that's why this is so difficult because you're really in the 
the energy of changing yeah conflict this conflict is a gift it's helping you see something it's helping you recognize something from a higher level somebody wants to make it right you have apology and merit making clarify please and that's why you have solar plexus this is this is really about somebody's self-worth or lack of self-worth that's really what this is about Illusions, all smoke and mirrors. That's what the devil's doing. Stuck, unable to move forward. Forgiveness is needed. That's what's needed in this situation. There's some father wounds here that need to be addressed, okay? And then it says, you are a healer. Stop doubting your gifts. Abandonment wounds, father wounds. You are a healer. Um... Try, when you change the way that you communicate with self, you'll change the way you see the situation or how you handle the situation as well. I do feel like there's some conflict taking place between you and another person. Spirit is saying, just pause. Sometimes you don't have to address every situation right then. You can, you can pull back, you can take a breather, you can meditate, you can rest, you can fulfill yourself in other ways. Well, this gets worked out on the other side until it's ready to take place here. All right, let's see. Material and spiritual prosperity is on its way to you. Passion ignited, fulfillment of wishes, deception and envy. We'll get into that. The Queen of Cups. Okay, the sun, yes. This is about you really tapping into who you are, what you want, your goals, your ambitions, your purpose, and staying center focused in that. You have the king of cups here. There's a soulmate situation that I'm tapping into. You also have Leo energy, a lot of fire energy here on the table. Seven of pentacles. It's in divine timing. You can't rush this. Something is being integrated to restore balance in a situation where there was a lot of lack, a lot of emptiness, a lot of spiritual poverty. And so as, as you're healing, as you're ascending and, and the light starts shining on issues and situations that need the light to be poured into it, right? Wheel of Fortune, it's a karmic lesson. Four of Swords, it's okay to rest. It's okay to pull back. It's okay to take a pause. I feel like something inside of you is going to be illuminated. Spirit is asking you to cultivate within yourself instead of worrying about the outside right now. Yeah, Triumph. Success, victory, achievement. It's all coming towards you. And then you have death and schedule. But you have to withdraw, loss, robbery, blind. You're missing so much that's happening right in front of you. Somebody here around you is. Because they're so focused on what they don't have. And that's what's blocking the success and the triumph right now. That's what's making you feel stuck. You have a blessing that is already scheduled from the divine to enter your life. The only reason why the doors aren't opening quicker is because you are somehow still stuck in an energy that is not in alignment with where you are presently in life. Okay? And so that's why there's a waiting game here because you're needing to play catch up. Clarify. You aren't praying enough. That'll do it too. You are not crazy. You're just going through an awakening. They want to be with you. This person wants to be with you. They want to do this. You need to ground yourself. Positive outcome. They think of you often and daydream of you and Leo energy. So very passionate energy. 
Again, you have passion ignited as next. So as you try to shift this perception, whoever this is, whether it's you, I think it is you, um, that's when you're going to start. Because I think you feel a little bit empty sometimes inside Virgo. Like you do feel like the, the passion has been drained out of you, okay? But as you start to make this progress of pouring light into areas that need it and stabilizing your emotions uh, in certain situations, you're going to see the passion come back, passion ignited here, all right? That's when you start to see the fulfillment of wishes. And I, I'm kind of getting the vibe that this deception and envy is more like you taking off the rose-colored glasses and realizing like, oh, I, I was seeing everything from the wrong, from the wrong way. Seven of Cups. So you're very confused about your purpose, where you want to invest. You feel overwhelmed. Clarify? The hanged man. That's what's keeping you stuck. The Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So something happened. Again, you really could be with the fire sign here. You have Sag Sagittarius energy now. We have Leo. Um, Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, Temperance. Six of Cups. I, this is a soulmate connection. And I see where there's betrayal. I see where there's pain. Something in that pain, something in this betrayal is what's been holding you back and causing you to be confused and unable to make a decision. It's like you can't, you may have thought that you've let go of something, but you haven't. And this is a situation that actually truthfully brings you a lot of happiness. It brings you the nine of cups, which is the wish fulfillment down here too. Clarify, please. Fury, offense, and that's why you're angry. That's why you're angry, because you genuinely, genuinely, genuinely care for this person. And you feel like they robbed you of your time, that they've lied to you. You've been ready. You've been trying to push through this situation. I feel like you may have tried to heal with this person over and over. And the... The more you try to heal something with this person, the more trapped and stuck you were starting to feel. Okay. For some of you, Virgo, I'm connecting. There's a couple different energies that I'm seeing here. Some of you, I think you're like still living with this person in the same house. For others of you, this is at a distance. Okay. And I think that you're still carrying this energy with you somehow. Okay. Um, from something that may have happened in the past like it's still for those of you that are not living with this person it's like that energy is is so in your face as if they were physically in your face still and I think that's what also causes you to be angry is you haven't actually fully forgiven a situation and released it right higher calling and purpose lonely at the top you feel like whatever took place with between you and this person has damaged or destroyed your passion, your creativity, like something died inside of you. But it, it's coming back to life. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's where we're getting here. Yeah, this was a karmic relationship. This was a karmic relationship. Somebody wants a family with you. Spiritual poverty issues with the immediate family so there and again because we saw we saw the devil there's definitely karma that needed to be healed between you and this person and a lot of people sometimes forget that we are here fighting a spiritual battle it, what's really in front of us is not what's important it's the unseen if you're still holding on to something that happened to you you're not closing a cycle and the only thing that does is keep you stuck in a certain way in a certain cycle and you're going to keep running into the same lessons over and over and over 
until you release it and see it differently and do something about it differently, okay? Um, you have a purpose, Virgo, that is different than everyone else's. Higher calling, lonely at the top. There's something that you're unique at that is just for you and you know that. This is for you. And you're, you're only stuck on this passion because you're also connecting it to your passion for this other person and or situation. And that's why your creativity, your solar plexus chakra is blocked. You cannot connect your worth value to another person, okay? And their poor decisions. Because it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with you. It, it has everything to do with them and how they love themselves. And as soon as you release that, we have fulfillment of wishes. Clarify, please, for Virgo. Three of Cups, celebration, happiness. So there's something coming towards you. Ace of Cups, wow. Abundance, overflowing. The Fool, a whole brand new beginning where it looks as though you've released some type of emotional baggage. Some of you could be traveling here. Yeah, the world, you put it to rest. You finally put it to rest, good for you. This makes me so happy. Yeah, Justice, Queen of Swords. You say, okay, I'm done. Here you are, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands. Some of you really are with a fire sign, like for sure, and judgment. A decision, a final decision is made. A final decision is made on a situation here. You have the Ten of Swords. You put something to rest. If this is a twin flame situation, um, you could be entering into the separation phase, okay? For others of you, you're closing out a karmic situation that has to be released physically, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally from your energy before this new opportunity can come towards you. This new love isn't making its way towards you because you're not releasing something from the past, okay? New idea, go for it, it will work. For Virgo. Money is coming. Spirit's like, don't. Don't worry about that. Remember how I told you you're connecting your passion for a person with your work? Separate that. You have investments coming. You have some type of promotion coming towards you. Like I said, you may run something. You're the creator of something. What did I tell you? They're lying to you because they have low self-worth. It's not you. It's them. They're lying to you. Deception and envy. Clarify. For Virgo. Six of Pentacles. They don't have it all together. They don't have it all figured out. King of Pentacles. What, what is the King of Pentacles? Somebody's telling you they're waiting for something. wheel of fortune they're still in the middle of a karmic lesson there's a lot of patience and waiting here and i see the conflict i see the burden it has to do with heartbreak a lot of immaturity coming from the other person as well in terms of communication but also in terms of their perception and you may need a break four of swords queen of pentacles like you may just need a break to focus on yourself Tell me about this, please. Bully. A nightmare. This person, oh my goodness. Somebody's learning a valuable lesson. I feel like they didn't realize how much they were either not putting into a situation. Like I almost feel like this person didn't know how to take accountability or didn't even realize how big of a deal 
it is that they're doing what they did. Like this person may have been talking about you to someone else or they told, you know, and even if it wasn't bad stuff, I feel like they were telling an enemy. Like, why were you telling this person? Okay, that, that's kind of what spirit is putting me in. And again, this person may not have been taking accountability. They, they're going to confess everything. They're going to let you know. They're going to tell you everything. But, but I think it's too late. Because this is now something that caused you to suffer. That caused you to feel pain. That caused you to feel attacked. And you shouldn't have had, that That shouldn't have been any part of this situation. That's why your self-worth is affected. Because somebody was talking about you to a third party and they should not have been. And that's caused a lot of um, discomfort inside of your own spirit. That's why you have to forgive this situation, Virgo, and just really pray over it every single day until it doesn't harbor a heavy space inside of you because you have a blessing coming towards you. And, and as backwards as it sounds, it is how it works. It's blocked a little bit right now because you're still in this space of, and I don't blame you, but you're like, how dare you? You know what I'm saying? So you're holding on to it. It's only blocking you. It isn't blocking them. When you release it, that's when their karma begins, okay? But you holding on to that, the, all of that energy that they did to you, you're not giving that energy the opportunity to go back to sender so that they can experience or learn from it, right? It's not going to hit them until you let go of it. That's the power of forgiveness. You need to ground yourself. Call Jesus into your heart to help shine light on darkness. He is the brightest light. He'll help guide you out of the darkness. You are being watched. Time to review your relationships in life. Someone is guilty. Solar plexus chakra. Okay, so eating a lot of yellow foods. Um, Google solar plexus chakra. See what you need to do uh, to get that back into balance. Your spiritual gifts are activated and ready to use. Virgo, I'm sending you much love on this journey and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.